right I'm going to update the firmware on the vGate iCar Pro and depending on which which of the device you have you download the new firmware from the official website this is the iCar Pro Plug it to the OBD port. It, it's different from car to car, but usually most of them is under the this area. Now, open the switch. Already opened. Obviously, you need, you need a laptop. I already downloaded the uh, files from the official website. This is okay. I'll switch to the laptop recording now. For all right, now so I am now on the laptop. Um, one second. Okay, so this is the official website. And I have downloaded the right one for my device. There are a couple of uh, different uh, device types here. So make sure you choose the correct one. For my device, it's the iCar Pro. This is the one. And obviously, this is the latest version. Here it's is the date of the version released and I guess this is how many times it was downloaded and by the way there is uh, for some people who complaining about um, this device is, uh, to change the password for the device I saw in the first page there is um, um, a tool to, to change the password I already downloaded that. I don't want to click here because I'm not connected now to the internet. I'm far from my home router. So, let's go on. Uh, this is the... Okay, let me open it. Yes. After you download the firmware you, uh, for your device, it will be compressed in .rar format. Just uncompress it, okay, extract it, and this is the files, okay, this is the manual for upgrade, okay, we'll follow the manual, exactly how it, how it goes, first it says connect to the device, uh, I will choose wireless, so, Let's see if it will come up. I'm not sure if it will come up. Okay, so it is not here. We'll go to the Bluetooth. Hmm. Well, it's a little different. We'll choose the Android one. Okay, this one. Okay. By default, I think it's one, two, three, four. Uh, manual says so also. Connect. Okay. It's paired now. And we'll select for the Bluetooth device only select port number, <coughs> which is this field. Okay, so let's go here. 
I prefer to run as administrator just to avoid any complications. And here we do. Um, okay, so it's three eight four zero zero. Okay, fine. But the com name is different. Okay, I'll leave it as it is. We'll try that. Family bath. This is the one. And yeah, let's do try. Port is opened. Failed. Please power on the device again. Okay, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's not about the power. It's about the port. Let's try this one. Device connection, okay. Please upgrade version two. Okay, fine. It's asking to upgrade to this version first. All right. So if you have, you don't. If you, you need to go through this and. Check which one is actually the the com port is uh, for your device. It can be different from device to device. Okay, let's upgrade this one first. Same port. Let's clear the messages here. Update. Port is open. Device connection. Okay. Okay, it's going on. That's good. Make sure you have enough battery. about to finish okay since it's asked to upgrade to this version first when after that to this one so after that we'll apply this one Let's go back I hope it doesn't make any issues with the applications. There's no way to go back now. Okay, file downloaded finish. Yeah, uh, by the way, uh, I'm not sure, I don't want to risk it, so most likely it will, uh, it, it will require me to power cycle the device. And upgrade again. So um, let's power cycle the device first. Okay, so this is finished. Okay, I'll keep it open here. I will. I have switched off my switch, my car switch, and now I will unplug the device just in case. Now it's unplugged, and now I will plug it again. And open the car switch. The noisy Mitsubishi charm. Okay, now let's go to the Bluetooth devices and search for it again. Yo, oh, 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 sorry, it's already here. Let's refresh. It's spirit okay fine now let's go back and clear this one now this one now the one ending with the right number open and update bed is what is open device connection okay that's good now it's updating. Right. And most likely I will fast forward the rest of this setup.
Okay, that's good. File download finished. And we'll wait until it says something. Should say completed or something. Well, that's it. Who knows? <laughs> Right. Funny thing is, it doesn't there is no way to here to to know which version it is before you upgrade. Anyway, so let's close this one. Right, and that's it. I'll try it on my phone, my Android, and we'll move to that recording now. Alright, I forgot to mention to... You need to power cycle the device before you start using it. So, I just power cycled the device, I switched off the switch, unplugged the device, and here I'll switch on again. Wait until it load. Right. Connecting. Very good. Let's see if this is okay. Check the sensors. Very good. And to see what is the, the difference in, in the firmware versions, there's a readme file that state all the um, all the all the changes among the firmware, firmware upgrades since it was developed. You can look up uh, the changes. And that's it. So I'll disconnect now and that's it thanks for watching have a nice day